there everyone, I'm back with some more Magic 2013 for y'all. Today we are facing Nefrox and his Exalted Darkness deck. This is the deck we played as last game against Jace. And um, he's next up on the campaign, so let's take him down. I have bumped up the difficulty up to Planeswalker, up from Archmage, which is basically the difference between medium and hard. So we're on hard mode now. Maybe, uh, maybe I'll be able to show you a bit more than me just kicking their face in which I really hope happens. So uh, let's take a look at our opening hand. Nephrox is playing first. Three Swamps. Fume Spitter. Jet Medallion. Murder. And finally, Sign in Blood. I'm a fan of this hand. We have three land. Uh, early drop creature that also doubles as removal. Uh, some mana acceleration. More removal and some card drawing effects. So even though he's playing first, gonna keep the hand. Let's go. See what he does. We're in hard mode. Show me something, Nephrox. Here comes a Swamp and a uh, Tormented Soul. 1-1 one, one, uh, Spirit Creature for one black mana. Tormented Soul can't block and is unblockable. So he's a perfect uh, target for that exalted mechanic. So uh, let's go. Let's uh, let him resolve that. That's the end of his turn. Let's see what we draw. <clears throat> we draw into uh, Blister Beetle, which is nice. He's more creature slash removal. Very much akin to the Fume Spitter. Speaking of which, Fume Spitter. <clears throat> so the question is now do I want to sack him right away to get rid of that? I think I do. I want to keep him off creatures if I can. Goodbye, Tormented Soul. And we're back to square one. Alright, that's the end of our turn. Next turn, I think we're going to drop down some mana acceleration. He plays a Plains. He now has both of his colors, because he's, of course, a uh, black and white deck. Avon Squire comes onto the field. 1-1 one, one for uh, one colorless and one white. He's a Flying Exalted. Very good, very good platform right there. End of his turn. Let's see what we got. Well, just because I want to kill that very quickly, we're going to forego the acceleration and uh, just play Blister Beetle and kill that right now. So here comes Blister Beetle. And uh, when he enters the battlefield, I can uh, have a target creature get minus one, minus one until the end of turn, and that will, of course, be Avon Squire. So eat that. And he will die. And I actually get to keep my creature this time, so he's a bit better than Fume Spitter, in my opinion. Although he is one more mana to uh, play. All right, let's see what's next on uh, Neferox's agenda. Five cards in hand for him. Five cards in hand for us. Cathedral of War. It's an exalted land, uh, which just taps for col colorless mana. So I like that card. It's very uh, important. Ooh, okay, that's nice. Tendrils of Corruption. Four mana. And uh, deals X damage to target creature, and you gain X life, where X is the number of swamps you control. So that is awesome. If we ever get into some serious trouble and need some life, we're going to play a swamp. And we're going to... we're going to sign in blood. We're going to take two damage and draw an extra two cards, which is going to be nice. So we draw an extra swamp, which is nice fuel for our tendrils of corruption. And we draw into some more uh, removal, which is nice. We're also going to attack for one. Okay. One damage going through. Technically not first blood uh, on him because uh, we got hit first thanks to our own sign and blood. But really, none of that matters. So why am I talking about it? I don't know. Another planes for Nephorox. And... And, and, and. Duty, bo Duty Bound Dead is a 0-2 for one black mana is exalted and can regenerate himself. So, uh, good show there. I like that card. I actually have a bunch of those back when I played exalted. And another swamp. Alrighty. We're going to, um, Jet Medallion. We're gonna... Hmm. We're gonna go ahead and murder that. Murder just destroys a target creature. So, there that goes. To the graveyard, and we're gonna swing in, bringing him down to 18. 
right, down he goes, unless he has something to stop me, which he doesn't. I would like to get a bigger threat on the board. I mean, this 1-1 one, one is nice, but he's only going to needle away, uh, giving him an 18-turn clock, barring any uh, blockers he, he puts up. Speaking of which, Battle Grace Angel comes onto the field. Flying Exalted, whenever a creature you control attacks alone, it gains lifelink until the end of turn. That is dying. That has to die, because I don't want him gaining life on me. Okie dokie. End of his turn. And we will... First... Tendrils of Corruption on the Battle Grace Angel, which kills it and brings us up to 23. We're also going to play a Fume Spitter. And uh, here we go. Another attack, bringing him down to 17. Damage will resolve, it looks like. Alright. Slow going, but we're getting there. I'm hoping we can, we can draw something and wrap this up a little quicker. What's next? A Plains. He keeps getting mana steadily, just like us, for once. Another Duty Bound Dead. Okay. I don't have any removal that will deal with it permanently. I just have this, which won't kill it, but it will stop it from blocking. I might, I might go ahead and put that on him. A Swamp. We're gonna... Looks like we're getting a bit flooded right now, mana-wise. I mean, that's good for this deck, because there is a lot of very high casting cost creatures in it. Um but soon we need to draw something. So, Crippling Blight on the Duty of Undead. Crippling Blight, um, what it does is it just gives it minus one, minus one, and it can't block. So I'm going to be able to get in for two this turn. Alright. Here we go. Down to 15. Doki. What's his play? Two Exalted is going to trigger from him and the Cathedral of War, bringing him up to a 1 3, and we're going to take one. Okay, down to 22. Alright. Play a Swamp, and we just drew Bloodhunter Bats. Uh, four casting cost creature. It's a 2 2 with flying, and uh, when it enters the battlefield, target player loses two life, and I gain two life. So here comes the bat. We're going to recoup our life and then some, and uh, hit him for a bit. Alright, continue. Two damage coming in, as per usual. Next turn it will be four. And he does not seem to be able to block. So that's that for, for us this turn. New turn from Nephrox. Come on, buddy. Guardians of Akrasa, Defender Exalted, costs 3 mana, and it's a 0-4. It's got a very, very big butt on that creature, so um, actually none of our creatures can get through that, so he has a very reliable blocker now, which I'm very, very happy to see. I didn't want to just shut him out. Okay. So he's coming in again. That is actually going to hit for 2 this turn, because the 3 Exalted triggers are happening. And we're going to skip blocking. Because I don't want to lose my uh, lovely Bloodhunter Bat. It's too, too precious for this world. Okay, here's what I've been waiting for. Nightmare. Costs 6 mana to play. And his power and toughness are equal to the number of swamps I control, which is right now 7. Plus he's flying. So we're about to have a 7-7 seven, seven flyer on the field. Very happy about that. Although... You know, we played Exalted Darkness last game against Jace, so we know that his deck has removal in the form of uh, Pacifisms, and uh, I think it's Pacifism and Doomblade in that deck. Thankfully, Doomblade won't affect Nightmare because he's a black creature, and Doomblade only destroys non-black creatures, but a Pacifism would really shit on my day. So, we're going to swing with all. Go Fume Spitter, go Blister Beetle, go Bloodhunter Backs, Back, Backs, Bats. There we go, I can speak English. I swear to you, I swear to you I passed elementary school. Okay, he goes down to eight. And we'll see what his response is to my nightmare. 
pacifism. See, I knew that was coming. Um, very, very good, sir. You have basically taken the nightmare out of the game. Unfortunately for you, I still have quite a big advantage. Because you don't really have any blockers that do damage. So you can't really chump away my guys. Um, and I do have an air threat. So he's attacking for two again. Bring us down to 20. Congratulations, Neferox. We're at 20 life, which is the starting life total. Although we did kind of whiff on our draw, drawing a swamp, which is functionally useless right now. We're going to bring in uh, some more damage. Bring him down to 5. He's running out of time. Um, but he has been able to pull some uh, interesting tricks out of his bag, such as this pacifism here. This one. Okay, he's down to five. Let's see what his next play is. Okay. Just a swing. Alright, we're gonna take uh, another two. See, that would be three, because there are three Exalted Triggers, but... Thanks to Crippling Blight, which a lot of uh, people in Standard right now think is a terrible card, and... To be fair, in the metagame, it really isn't that good, but right now it's really, uh... Really proving it's worth, worth to me. Down to 18. Okay, last kiss. Two damage to target creature, and you gain two life. So this is a perfect chance for me to take out his soul attacker right now, which is the duty-bound dead. So we're going to go ahead and play that, kill him, and gain ourselves two life, bringing us back up to 20. Although he is going to regenerate. I should have seen that coming. Uh, that's just some uh, absent-mindedness, obliviousness, and sheer stupidity on my part. But we will continue to fight, no matter what. As per usual, we're going to get our three damage in. Oh, we did, however, gain that two life. Last kiss didn't kill him, but we got that two life, which is uh, nice. Oh, I'm stupid. Of course we got the two life, because it still did the two damage. It's not like it got, it's not like it got countered. He just regenerated his guy. I'm going to try and be smarter. It may be a feat beyond me, but uh, we'll give it a shot. So he plays an Evolving Wilds, giving him uh, essentially a land tutor. And he's attacking for two again. Bringing us down. And uh, functionally, he's dead on board right now. So what is this? Infest. All creatures get minus two, minus two until the end of turn. That's a really fun card, but that will kill my guys. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and swing in for the victory right now. Okay. Tricks. Any tricks besides blocking? No tricks. Ladies and gentlemen, Nephrox goes down. Ah, the latest in a long list of our uh, conquests. Um, I, I like that we went up to hard mode. We still won with relative ease, but we got to see, you know, I think some more action, which I'm you know, proud of. And especially since we played Exalted Darkness last game, we saw the potential it had, and we saw that the Obedient Dead mono black deck is just a powerhouse because all of his early game creatures were removed, just lickety split. That's the power of uh, the black color in Magic the Gathering. It is the color removal and uh, the color of fuck you, basically. So, um, thanks for watching, and as always, I will see you all next time.